morning everyone it's day two here from Willemstad in Curaçao and today is gonna be a beach day so we're really looking forward to checking out the beaches here we're gonna be heading down the island it's a quick ride I think like six minutes and we're gonna head to a beach called Mambo Beach and I think in front of the place we stay in Scuba Lodge the van passes quite frequently so we're gonna get a van there Hello, uh, Mambo Beach, yeah? Thank you. Thank you. All right, Mambo Beach Boulevard. And that van back there, it cost uh, three guilders per person. I still don't understand the currency here, if it's guilder or florin. And from what I read, I think you're supposed to pay to come here to Mambo Beach. Can I do some shopping like them, Carol? Yeah. <laughs> Happy shoppers. <laughs> Go on, Carol, you can do it. Do the, the, do the tourist thing. Just for the, the video. Just for the video. There we go. The true tourist. <laughs> Man, so far I think I'm super surprised by how developed everything is here. Yeah, everything is very like modern and there are many store, stores, like uh, even stores from the US. You can find anything here. Yeah, yeah it's completely different to a lot of Caribbean countries we've been to. Looks pretty fancy. Yeah, so up here there's a bunch of restaurants all the way down here. And here is the beach. Just gotta work out how to get down. Man, that water is looking amazing. Can't wait to get in. How do we get down? <laughs> oh, the stairs there. These sunbeds were six guilder each, which I think is around three dollars. And pretty much all the areas here are like beach clubs and restaurant areas, so I think they charge different prices, different yeah, different areas. And from what the lady told us, I think if you want one of these uh, fancy ones there, that's uh, forty-five guilder. <laughs> Quite a lot more than here, right? Yeah. Yeah, we don't have any like umbrella, but we got the best umbrella here. And we can just move around the sunbeds, so yeah, we'll always have shade. continue I like to talk quickly about the sponsor of this video so Surfshark are a VPN provider that allows us to keep a private connection anywhere in the world keeping our data and information safe from potential hackers it also allows us to bypass censorship in some countries some websites or content are blocked so by using Surfshark we're able to unblock them Another big benefit to us is that it gives us access to all 15 of Netflix's libraries. For example, Carol really likes to watch the series Friends over and over, and Netflix recently removed it from a lot of the countries, but it's still available in the UK. So by connecting her laptop to the UK server on Surfshark, she's able to access all the Friends series still. Other than that, Surfshark also allows unlimited devices, so you can connect all your family's devices just using one account. 
In the description of the video, we have a link with the code jumping places that will give you 83% off and three months for free. They also have a 30 day money back guarantee. So if you decide you don't want to continue to use it, you haven't spent any money. The first Curacao beach. Yeah. Oh, very nice. Cold. Yeah, colder than in Dominican Republic. Yeah, it's colder than I thought, but it's absolutely boiling. So no complaints for me. Wow, look at this color though. Beautiful color. Yeah. <laughs> so this beach is actually a fake beach. It's a man-made beach. So all this area here, the beach is down there too and all this beach is all man-made that's one of the reasons you have to pay there's loads of beaches here in Curacao that you don't have to, to pay to visit but since this is man-made you're paying them to kind of like maintain it but yeah I think it's like probably one of the first man-made beaches we've ever been to I don't remember any others from the top of my head but yeah they've done a, a pretty good job really looks like a Caribbean beach you couldn't tell it's fake really no no well if you see the rocks over there but like the beach the sand is very nice so. yeah it looks real mm -hmm. yeah so they have this big barrier here i think there's a bit of water entering here but pretty much rocks blocking up the whole thing because yeah it'd be too too wavy otherwise So we swam over to this side here, so the division in the middle, you can actually walk on it. There's people all over here. I did see some fish here, so there are some tropical fish, maybe I'll be able to capture them later on with the GoPro. Just gotta work out how to get up. <laughs> yeah, so over here you'll be able to see why these rocks are here because the water is pretty crazy on this side, the waves. Not too bad now, but still not great for swimming. I think here we go. <laughs> wow, look at that blue though. Yeah, the blue here is a different color. Like Carol keeps saying, the Curacao blue. It's because you have that alcoholic drink, Curacao, which is from here. Yeah, I guess I that's why they make it that color. Probably because they have the color in the ocean. Here. Yeah, that is the identical color of the alcoholic drink, the Blue Lagoon. Put us out. Yeah, one thing I gotta mention so far, this has been like the windiest place ever. Just getting blasted by wind all day. It was the same in Will Willemstad yesterday, so I don't know if it's always this windy here, but yeah, it's like a really strong wind. You can almost lean into it and not fall over. pay for the entrance and the beds so it's all free 50 each they just give you these little tokens here and we're probably gonna get a bite to eat I think we're gonna share a salmon bagel and that's 1750 in a uh, Florida yeah so the majority of things here are always in Dutch so me and Carol never have a clue <laughs> what's written but here you can see uh, like a Caesar salad that's for 20 in their currency Poke bowl, also 20. Got a burger here, 17. Seems to be an extra three if you add some meat. So we got some drinks to cool down. 
I got a, I asked for a mango smoothie, I thought it would be with milk, but I think it's just ice and mango, and that was around six seventy dollars And what's your juice there? Cranberry juice. Cranberry juice. Yeah, three dollars. Three dollars. Yeah, mine's pretty much just like a juice as well, but two times more. <laughs> I should have just got mango juice, which is pretty much this. So the salmon bagel has arrived. Looks nice. Yeah, smoked salmon. Smoked salmon. Mm -hmm. What's the white stuff on there? Is that like cream cheese or yeah, something? Yeah, cream cheese and arugula and smoked salmon. Good mix. Yeah, we're going to be sharing that because we're going to have a bigger meal later on at our place. just left Mambo Beach back there and there's this part here that's almost like a, a river I don't know they've created some sort of I guess artificial island here I think is it a resort it looks like a resort it looks like yeah yeah they even have like a little beach over there a little fake beach as well and yeah it looks like it's kind of good for snorkeling around here some people snorkeling those people are scuba diving over there maybe it's like lessons I don't know Something really weird happened with the drone. I was flying it and then all of a sudden all the GPS signal cut out and then it was flying all over the place and I was trying to come back to the beach and it started going backwards like away from the coast and I thought I'd lost the drone because it wasn't responding and it was just going further and further out. So I thought oh, I'm, I'm going to be screwed but then for some reason it just started being able to go forward at least. I couldn't go sideways, I couldn't go backwards or anything, so I could only go forwards, but yeah, luckily I was able to land it. Just didn't get that many shots because it happened pretty much straight away, but yeah, I think some of the shots were good either way. And then on this side, it's kind of different. You have these other big like huts, I guess, big umbrella huts. And then back there is a huge hotel. So there is a hotel here right on Mambo Beach. And I guess these are all the people staying in that hotel. Pretty cool. Guys, look at the size of these fish here. They're huge. They look tasty. Yeah, I could eat some of them. <laughs> yeah. See the fishing rod. <laughs> I guess these are like the tour boats or something. Diving tours. So we were just crossing this bridge back here and look at that color, water. <laughs> Incredible. Yeah, this place Curacao has some of the best shades of blue probably ever seen. Man, I just want to dive back in there again. I think this is as far as we're going to go. Pretty sure this is like a resort or something. It's actually like a ship coming out of out of the ground. Check that out. Probably not a real one, but yeah, pretty crazy looking. Guys, so just as we were about to leave, my flip-flop is done it broke off but luckily here we have the flip-flop shop <laughs> the perfect location so we're gonna have to get some probably expensive flip-flops so they have loads of Havaianas here which I was gonna buy in Brazil seems to be $28 how much is Havaianas in Brazil? Uh, it's like 
half of the price. Of half of the price. Yeah, ten dollar is the most expensive one. Oh, okay. Yeah, I might go for some black ones though. Brazil. All right, got my new flip flops. Feeling good. I'm not. No. No, it's too expensive for a Brazilian. <laughs> yeah. Oh well. Now I don't have to buy them in Brazil. So this is a different room to the one that I filmed in the last video. We're actually in a loft room now. So yeah, this is a, a loft. This is the roof right here of the, the building. And just like the last video, I'll link their info in the description because they have yeah loads of different kind of rooms and at different rates. So on this side, we have just one big open room for the bathroom. So it's quite different to the last room that we showed. But the sink is same, same kind of style. And this one has a, a window, so you can take a shower with an ocean view, <laughs> if that's your thing. And then you get views of both sides in this room, so yeah, you can see the really beautiful, colorful buildings of Willemstad, of the capital. And overall, the room's a bit more spacious from what I can see. Same kind of bed as well. And this painting here is actually one of the buildings that we saw when we were touring around yesterday. I remember that building. And other than that, we just got the TV again. And through here, it also has a balcony. Carol's enjoying her Curacao drink. Yeah. That's what we were talking about. It's the same color as the, the ocean here. Yeah, Curacao blue. The Curacao blue. <laughs> yeah, and even back here, you still get the ocean view. But as you can see, we're right on the top. So yeah, you can see the roof from up close. And they gave us another drink as well. I'm not sure what this one is, but yeah, it looks pretty nice and fruity. Carol can have the Curacao Blue. Cheers. This is the main restaurant of the place we're staying, Scuba Lodge. Pretty fancy restaurant and it's right on the ocean so yeah you get to eat with this amazing ocean view. Unfortunately there was no tables available right now. They're all taken for two people so we have to sit inside but yeah you still get a nice view anyway. So for the starters we got these cheese balls here which is like a snack from the Curacao. I don't know what this is, maybe like a salsa and that was 1750 florin and I also got some natural lemonade that was 550 and Carol got a Pepsi that was 650 right? Yeah. yeah. See how the local cheese ball, balls are. Is it hot? So good. So good? Mm. The, the sauce is like a hot and sour. Salt and sour. Yeah. Okay, nice. So me and Carol both went for the big tuna steak. This is 32.50 florin. It's like juicy. Yeah. Yeah, juicy Maybe. tuna steak. The bread's kind of yellow as well. Yeah. Really tasty though. Yeah. So that's going to be it for the videos here in Willemstad. Tomorrow we're going to be going to another area of Curaçao called West Point, which is kind of like northwest from, from here, I guess. And that area is supposed to be very different to this area. So yeah, really looking forward to checking that part out. It's only 40 minutes away. So if you have a rental car, you could actually just stay around here and then just do a day trip and come back. But we just decided to stay there instead. So if you like this video, just drop a like as usual to support us. Subscribe if you like to see more videos like this. Follow us on Instagram and we'll see you in the next one.